test, test. I need students in position, please. Students in position, eighth graders at snares, trumpets. We are starting in three minutes and 27 seconds. Snares in position, we are starting. Trumpets, watch the countdown, then we start. I need everybody at their snares. We're using glow sticks for this one. Snares, we're starting in 30 seconds. I need you here, snares. Let's go. Trumpets, you ready? Get ready. Magica.
I'm Marcus Brazvon, and I'm giving you the announcements for this week. Let's see what's going on in TCS, guys. Easter break begins this Friday, March 22nd. We return from Easter break on Tuesday, April 2nd. Friday, April 26th is College and Career Day. SAT 10 testing for grades 1 through 7 begins on Monday, April 15th. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, to act justly and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the TCS Easter concert. We are so happy to have you here. My name is Theta Manning. I am a senior as well as the TCS Student Council President. In a few moments, tonight you will see why TCS is recognized nationally for its unique musical program. If I can turn your attention to the screen, the music program's mission is for all students to receive a fundamental understanding of how the orchestra works. This ties in with our mission statement to love, live, and lead as Jesus modeled. At this time, I would like to invite our pastor of youth ministries, Pastor Alex Ortiz, to open us in prayer. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Lord, we thank you for this day. God, we thank you for this opportunity that these students have to show off their talents, but also just to um, be able to glorify you with what they are able to do, these gifts that they have. We pray right now that you'll calm nerves and prepare our hearts, Lord, to receive what these students have for us today. In Jesus' name, amen.
The psalmist said, come and listen, all who fear the Lord. Let me tell you what he has done for me. This evening, we celebrate not only the truth that Christ died and was raised to life, but what that means for those of us who believe. The Apostle Paul said, for if Christ has not been saved, then our, raised, then our preaching is useless, and so is your faith. If Christ has not been raised, you are still in your sins, but Christ has indeed been raised from the dead. And if by his power, God raised the Lord from the dead, he will raise us also. So this evening, we pray that you will know the hope to which he has called those in Christ, the riches of his glorious inheritance, and his incomparably great power for those of us who believe.
I am Mickey Lariu and a senior here at Trinity Christian School. I've attended Trinity since my preschool years. Trinity is known nationally for its unique music program. If we can turn our attention to the screen, here our main mission at Trinity is to show our kids and students how the orchestra works. First, we start off with the kindergartners who learn rhythm and singing, and then we expand upon this concept to the first graders, which we have here, and they will now perform Holy, Holy, Holy for you on bells. through 10 says, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, now how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if, when we were God's enemies, we are reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life?
It is through our Lord's death that we have been forgiven all our sins. This is what the gospel tells us. After the Sabbath, as the first light of the new week dawned, Mary Magdalene and the others came to the tomb. The stone at the tomb was rolled back, and an angel spoke to the woman. There is nothing to hear here. You're looking for Jesus. He is not here. He was raised, just as he said. Now go and tell his disciples he is risen from the dead. You will see him.
I am Jacqueline Montian, a senior here at Trinity Christian School. I have attended Trinity since preschool and forced by my father to experience this music program. Because of this, I can play almost all the instruments in the orchestra, five to be exact. I also serve in my church's youth choir, worship band, and orchestra. As you can see from the screen, the second graders are introduced to the woodwind section of the orchestra. They learn recorders and their focus is on rhythm and melody. Next slide, please. Second graders are also introduced to musical notation. As you can see from the screen, they, are, they learn how to write each piece that they learn. The second graders will now perform Our God for You. Romans 6, 4 through 5 says, Christ has been raised from the dead by the Father's glory. And like Christ, we can also live a new life. By being baptized, we have been joined with him in his death. We will certainly also be joined with him in his resurrection. Jesus Christ will return again, just like he said he would.
I am Grace Dan, a senior at Trinity Christian School, and I have been attending for about five years now. And I play about four instruments, but my main priority is the violin. I serve in my church's youth choir, or worship team, and orchestra. And these third and fourth graders are introduced to the string section, and they are also introduced to folk music that parallels to their history class. And now we will perform Bile Them Cabbage Down. a senior at Trinity Christian School. I've been enrolled since the eighth grade. I play a couple of instruments, but my primary instrument is the violin. I also serve in my church's orchestra, praise team, and youth choir. As you can see on the screen, fifth grade is introduced to the woodwind section of the orchestra. They're also introduced to a musical concept called timber. To show what this concept means, I'll have Luke play a note on the flute, and Judah will play that same note on the clarinet. They sound different. This is because the flute is a C bass instrument and the clarinet is a B flat, B flat bass instrument. Now I'll have them play the same note. Luke will play C and Judah will play D. Now they sound the same. This is what we call timber, the same note with different tone or sound quality. Oh, they chose to pick Soraya's theme for the piece tonight.
Hi, I'm Johnny Walton and I'm a senior at Trinity Christian School. Uh, I've been enrolled since eighth grade and my main instruments are trumpet and drums. If you look at the screen, you'll see the sixth graders are introduced to the brass section of the orchestra. Thank you, Johnny. I'm Mark Sprazavon and I'm also a senior at Trinity Christian School. I've been attending this school f since kindergarten. I can play almost all the in instruments in this orchestra, six to be exact. I also attend and participate in my local church's worship team, youth choir, and orchestra. As we turn our gaze to the screen, we learn that the seventh graders return to the string section. However, this time, they are learning the guitar, a different instrument from the violin. The guitar teaches these seventh graders the different rhythm and patterns, and also chords. As you probably haven't noticed, during the concert, these seventh graders have been performing to the side, either on a bass or a guitar. I am Calvin Bott and a senior at Trinity Christian School. I have attended Trinity since my freshman year. My principal instrument is drums. If we can turn our attention to the screen, please. Eighth graders focus more on complicated rhythm patterns. They have played on drums during this evening's concert. We will now perform David Danced. Look at your watches. It's 7.47 p.m. And we've gone through 30 pieces and it's still not yet an hour. Let's give an applause to our uh, wonderful students. <laughs> Orchestra, please stand. Did you enjoy the accompaniment? This is middle school, high school orchestra, alumni and parents. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Have a seat. They came on Monday to practice in the evening, and they have never had a full practice with the kids' choir. So this was our first rehearsal, and I think they did a wonderful job. Thank you very much. I also want to thank at this time our wonderful faculty and staff. Please stand. Let's give them an acknowledgement. As you notice, they're not sitting with their children because we have middle school and high school taking care of the kids. I want to especially draw your attention back to the media. If you want to turn the lights on, it's run by our students. Let's give them applause. If you didn't like the, the slide transitions and all that, it's all their fault. But I want a special, uh, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Cook, Mr. Lahmer, Mr. Manning, and Mr. Ortiz, who worked for the past three days with the crew. Wonderful job. Thank you, guys. Where are my music interns? Uh, I need Theta to stand up. Theta, Jacqueline. There's Jacqueline, James, Samuel, and Marcus. These are the students who taught the, uh, our kids to play the piano pieces and all these. Wonderful job. Seniors, wonderful job. Samuel, where's Samuel? I think he's on drums. He's not a senior yet. I need him for a couple more years. If I can draw your attention to the screen, here is what makes our unique. Uh, we have been, this is our going to be our seventh year. I believe we'll get it. Uh, we'll get a uh, notification in a few weeks. For six years, we have gotten the Merit Award. Uh, just to put this in perspective, what does that mean? If we can go to the next slide. 
Only 78 schools in the nation get this award, and Trinity Christian School is one of the 78 nationwide. So thank you, parents. Thank you for forcing them to go home and practice. Now, how do we get this recognition? If we can go to the next slide, just so you can understand what happened this evening. 400 years of mu music literature has been performed in less than 47 minutes. Thank God we didn't have to go 400 years. 30 musical pieces were performed live, not a single one playback. I don't know how many concerts you've gone to. I went to the Sacramento Ballet and they were using playback music. It broke my heart. We did it all live. Of those 30 pieces, 20 pieces were orchestrated in-house. We didn't have to go outside. We made the music in-house. David danced, arranged in-house, and the kids picked it up in four weeks and learned it. So well done, guys. Nine genres. And if you heard some mistakes, that's the 10th genre. We call it atonal music, all right? And this is what brings the attention here. Many programs break down the schools. Here at Trinity, we've been focusing, even with our growth, to make it a 100% student body participation. There is no school in the nation that has this, and this is why we get this recognition. There's a, let's do an elementary production, let's do a middle school, let's do a high school, and that breaks up the body. Biblically, we want one body where the little kids can see what they will be able to perform and the older kids come alongside and mentor them and allow them to make the mistakes. You've seen the students. We've allowed them to come up here. They're stuttering and all that. This is what brings them, uh, builds them up to be the leaders, to be able to speak effectively. We need to our, allow our students to fail in a safe place, give them the applause when they do well, and then come alongside them and say, don't worry, we got another year to work on these and make improvements. So that's what, we, uh, that's what makes our school program unique. One more announcement, and then are you guys ready for the last song? All right. If we can go to the slide. School enrollment for next year. Notice, kindergarten through first grade, we already have closed for all the grades. If you're interested, you need to tell your friends there are the seats available for the second. We've got some classes on waiting lists. Secondary, grade six, seven is closed. I'm sorry if you want to bring a seventh grader, put them on the waiting list for next year. Notice what also is closed, grades 11 and 12. We purposely do now allow new enrollments for grades 11 and 12 because we want to make sure they have a strong biblical foundation. So after 10th grade, we say, I'm sorry, we've got other schools that we can refer to, but for you to be able to graduate from Trinity Christian School, we want to make sure you have a strong foundation in the faith that we believe. So if you know any friends, family, preschool is year round, they can enroll tomorrow, but tell them seats are limited. Now I'm going to draw your attention to Marcus Brazovan, who will close us with For All You've Done.
do me a favor. Will you help me thank all these students and congratulate them on a great night? Will you give them a big hand? Great job, students. My name is Abe Daniel. I serve as a senior pastor of Trinity Life Center, superintendent of Trinity Christian School, and it's been our honor to host you tonight. This concert kicks off what we call our Easter festivities. This is everything that we get to do that leads up to Easter Sunday. I want you to know that Trinity Christian School has over th nearly 300 students, but that is comprised of nearly 70 different churches that are represented in our church family. And we're so grateful for the trust of churches all over this region that have allowed families to connect with us so that we can serve and see what God has done. We say that this is what kicks off Easter because the entire purpose of why we have gathered this night is not a concert. You have been forced to come to a concert, but I want you to know this. It's the shortest school concert in the entire nation. That's my opinion, and I'm right. But with that, most importantly, this is a night where we get to declare the true reason for Easter. This is not about chocolate, though I love that. This is not about all the candy that we get to consume, but I'm not opposed to that. This is not about bunnies. This is about the fact that there is a tomb that is now open. It is empty. We celebrate this very fact, Jesus is alive. And the entire reason that we've gathered this evening is for that single purpose. It was years ago that I got to visit Israel for the first time, and I thought about all the people that have, pilgrim had taken the pilgrimage back to different religious sites and rulers. And in their case, there is a body that has been buried. But for us, those who call ourselves Christians, we get to go, we get to see this is a tomb that is empty. The door has been opened so that you and I may have and experience this eternal hope called Jesus Christ. He is the hope of the world. Today, I get to close in a word of prayer, and I'd like to invite you to bow with me today. Father, thank you again for this day. Thank you for this amazing night. Thank you for these students. Thank you for the families that are represented that you've trusted to us at Trinity Christian School. I pray blessing upon each family, each household, the ministries that are represented all throughout this region. And most importantly, Lord, we thank you for the amazing gift that you've given us through your son. He paid the price the ultimate price on the cross so that today we can live free. I pray, Lord, that this Easter season, wherever we gather for worship, that you will meet us and that we will be reminded that you have given us this promise and hope of eternal life. We thank you this day in Jesus' name and everyone said, amen. amen. Before we stop, I'm going to ask you to do this. Parents, a couple things. Number one, we want to ask you to make sure that you pick up your child. Please take your child home. Secondly, we'd like you to take your instruments home as well. Instruments that are left will be sold on eBay. Children that are left will be done cleaning this entire property to help us out. God bless you, and we look forward to celebrating the remainder of our Easter season with you.